I sing again. Oh, we live! Hey, Facebook! Hey, we finally went live! Further away from all that. Yeah, that's what it was. This your girl down here at the Lincoln Memorial. They out here. I'm gonna flip the camera and show you. They didn't want. We couldn't get a signal at first. This your girl. It's your girl. Down here at the Commitment March. They out here, Facebook. They out here. I hope you out here too. Let's see if I can. We were all the way up in the front, couldn't get a signal, so I had to come all the way back down here, so y'all can hear the message. Amen. Amen. All right, here's another speaker coming on Facebook. They out here on both sides of the reflection pool. This is beautiful. Hello, 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 hello. Hey, Mr. Hill. Hey, Mr. Anderson. Just thought I'd give y'all a snapshot of what's going on down here on this beautiful morning. Beautiful morning. They are out here. We couldn't get a signal earlier, but we got one now. They on both sides of the reflection pool and they still coming in. Good morning, good morning. They are out here. Yes, it is. That's right. Come on now. Come on now. That broke into the home of Brianna Taylor and shot her in her sleep. That's right. It was a demonic spirit that shot Jacob Blake seven times in the back in front of his children. That's right. I further submit it was a demonic spirit that the government gives tax breaks and bailouts to the rich and overlook the poor. That's right. It was a demonic spirit that watched thousands of Americans, majority victims of color, shot in the streets but refused to pass gun laws. Brothers and sisters, it's a demonic spirit that would cause police officers to put his knee on the neck of George Floyd for eight minutes and 46 seconds, killing him in broad daylight. That's but right. Sisters, as the gospel teaches us, the good news is, I'm walk back towards the front, see how long my signals stay up. We are descendants of those who refuse to bow to the music of Nebuchadnezzar, and we won't bow now. That's right. We are the demon chasers. That's right. We are the demon chasers. <laughs> we are the demon chasers. No justice. No peace. No peace. That's right. No justice, no peace. Boy, they out here. It's been a beautiful morning, Facebook. Beautiful. See all these people ascend on our city. Next to be the pastor of one of the most historic churches in America, the King Solomon Baptist Church, where both Dr. King and Malcolm X spoke. He is also the National Expansion Director of the Nash Action Network, Action Network frequent guest co-host of the Keeping It Real radio show. His life is dedicated to fighting for justice. Peace, right. power, prosperity for all. He is the proud husband of his better half, Angela, and father of Charlie and Charles III. Please welcome the Reverend Dr. Charles Williams II. All right, let's see what Reverend Charles Williams II. All the speakers have been phenomenal. Phenomenal. No justice, no, no peace, justice. No, no peace, peace. that's right. right no justice, no, no peace. peace. All right, look, you're going to hear a lot of speeches today. <laughs> Let me give honor to our president, Reverend Al Sharpton, Chairman Duncan Franklin Richardson, and Martin Luther King III for the convening of this auspicious occasion where we have the opportunity to rehabilitate, recommit, refocus, regenerate the dream that Dr. King had right here on this stage just 57 years ago. Hey, sir. We don't do it by speeches. We do it by work. That's right. And so my hope is, is that all of you all 
That's right. Come back to our communities and go to work. You heard that, Fred Hill? We must register. Hey, cuz. We must. We must register. I'm doing love. I'm doing love. <laughs> Somebody done walked up on the stage, <laughs> decided they want to interrupt the performance, really? He said he's going to be heard one way or the other. <laughs> beautiful day, beautiful day. We couldn't get a signal up in the front, so I had to step back. Uh-huh, the enemy be trying it. We won't let him do it today. That's right, that's right. That's right, tell him again. That's right, tell him again. That's right, knee off our mental health neck. I heard that. Off our neck. That's right. That's right. Look, we got work to do. Do we? got a lot of speeches you're going to hear. Tell them again. Home, Tell them again. Hello, folks. Go to work. Go to work. Go to work. Go to work. Are you ready to work? Yeah. No justice. No peace. That's right. We heard that, didn't we? When we come back from this, go back to our communities and get ready to go to work. We got to hit them streets, Fred Hill. Gotta let them know what the message is. You're doing a great job, brother. Our next speaker is a social activist, co-founding executive director of Folks Common Good, a national political nonprofit dedicated Very nice sign. Let me catch the people walking by. Thank you. Guys, there's so many beautiful signs down here. No, I'm just talking on the live, sorry. We got the folks from Nigeria, got a nice post up over there. This is wonderful. They are down here. And the march hasn't even started yet. On issues of culture, leadership, social systems, Christianity, and progressive evangelicalism. Please welcome Doug Hedges. That's right. We not only are walking in this day, we have been walking for nine days from Charlottesville, 130 miles to join us up. That's right. That's right. Our white brothers and sisters from the faith community walk from Charlotte, North Carolina. We all walk to walk a faith pilgrimage of racial reckoning, resolve, and love. We're doing the work. I am here to ask your permission for our movement to join you in the common good. That's right. By the millions, white people of faith will not only join you in this march, but will join you in a march on the ballot box. That's on right. Day. That's we right. That's right. Come together, people. That's right. Time to unite. That's right.
That's that right. It's time for us to make faith, hope, and love our collective communal call to change this country. And we will be joining you on election day on every day that follows. That's Thank right. You. That's right. Thank you. Give y'all a view of the crowd. They're still coming on in. Prosecuting attorney, one by a landslide, they say. Good morning, I'm Kim Gardner, the first African American circuit attorney in the city of St. Louis. First African American. I believe Black Lives Matter. I believe your safety and welfare matters. I believe the truth matters. I also believe that your skin color should not be weaponized against you. I believe that prosecutors have a duty to truly be ministers of justice, to pursue justice, not merely conviction. That's right. And as an African American female reform on a prosecutor, when you hold police accountable like everyone else, you are threatened with death threats and acts of violence against you. Yep. You're also investigated. And you even have President Donald Trump and the powerful view you falsely accuse you of being the cause of senseless violence and criminal acts of lawlessness in your community. But enough is enough, and we're going to Enough call for is enough. That's all. right. That's what and MI says. Say, enough is enough. Prosecutors should not wait to a national tragedy to hold police accountable. Every day around this country, that's we have right. some police officers that inflict harm in communities Speak on that it. need police the most by disrespecting individuals that they're supposed to protect and serve. And we, as prosecutors, have to hold them accountable by making sure they're trustworthy and they not police or do their job with racial bias. That's so right. I want us all to say, time out for 45. Time out for Donald Trump. And please vote November 3rd. And guess what we are That's right. Go. Go. That's right. Time out for 45. Time out for him. Get him out of there. that validates our upreach. I like that. We're still coming in, people. They're still coming in. Just giving y'all a view. We celebrate the courageous and prophetic leadership of the Reverend Al Sharpton and Martin Luther King III calling us together today. And I stand here this morning as a bishop in the great AME 
Zion Church, known as the Freedom Church, the Church of Sir and Truth. That's right. That's right. And Coretta Scott King before she married a Baptist preacher. Even after the murders of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, actor Tamir Rice, Eric Gardner, Sandra Bland, all those lost lives, God bless Gray, Michael Brown, and dozens of other names who have become hashtag the unmitigated goal, the utter temerity of a police officer emboldened enough to not only grab Jacob Blake in the back, but to shoot, shoot him. him. Not Come on one, now. not two, Come on but now. seven times. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. We come together because we are one. An African proverb says that when a thorn pierces the foot, the whole body bends over to pull it out. So we come together to pull out the thorn that has been bad That's right. People. That's we right. We gather to say that we demand change. They the all know. change and we demand it now. No empty gestures, but we want transformation in this country. That's why right. they say all racing to the front where we've pain. been. We don't have no Racism signal up pain. there. But there are also strategies of resistance and renewal. So yes, we will protest, but we will also advocate for policies that protect our children. Congress must adopt the John Lewis Voting Rights Bill now. The George Floyd Justice and Policing Bill now. That's right, we now. Watch, but we will also mobilize and vote in record numbers. Some whites in this country became so sick of seeing a black yep. family in the White House that they became nauseous and vomited out Donald Trump. Well, <laughs> <we> <laughs> I like that. I like that. White people got nauseous of seeing black people in the White House, so they vomited out Donald Trump. Love it. Trump is a virus, and voting is the vaccine. Come on now. He on fire. Represent D.C. I love that. Trump is the virus, and voting is the vaccine.